Let's see if you can spot this one. I feel like Eric Clapton this morning. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come to his presence with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. Joyful noise. Wait a minute. We've heard this before. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Right? This is actually this is Psalm 95. That wasn't ringing already. Psalm 95. And you're like, man, where have I heard this before? This is actually in the liturgy, in the, in the morning prayer. Um, have we done that in 2020? Maybe we should. Uh, the one sung canticle is this psalm. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us drop to the rock of our salvation. Okay, maybe it's ringing a bell. If it's not, follow me here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a, a passage that proclaims worship to me. Uh, and it's even not just the morning prayer, it's used in other settings of the liturgy too. Um, and he goes on to talk about how the depths of the caverns are God's, the high mountains, the sea, right? Uh, it reminds me of the, the kid's song of My God is So Big, right? Um, it, 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 it talks about, in verse 6, let us worship and bow down. Oh, worship. Notice, and again, worship and thanksgiving are, are interconnected yet again for the second day in a row. It's like we're onto something here at Living Waters, right? Uh, let's kneel before the Maker. God's a Creator. The the uh, maybe this one sounds familiar. He's our God. We are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His right hand. Hmm. hmm. God the Shepherd, and it, it keeps going. It keeps attributing to God our connection. You see, worship is about our connection to God. Yes, uh, people say, well, we pray to be connected to God, and that's true. And prayer is part of worship, right? Um, but I think worship kind of takes the next step. It can be part. It can be prayer. It can be a song, giving thanksgiving. Obviously, the, the sacraments. Um, worship is a communal act, whereas prayer necessarily isn't. Uh, and God interacts with humanity in groups. Um, you know, those passages where Jesus talks about whatever you pray for, God will grant. The you is actually plural, so y'all. You all, my wife would say, you all, right? Um, God speaks to the people through a leader, but often then speaks plurally, uh, through the prophets, plurally. God interacts with lots of people. And yes, we have that individual relationship with God in prayer, but in worship, we're able to come together, right? Or two or more are gathered, as Jesus would say. There's an important connection there. So we have this relationship where we give thanks, where there's a relationship where we hear good news, where we sing joyful songs. COVID's a little set up, but we, we do sing um, online. We, we, you know, we proclaim these, these titles and relationships that we have. Uh, God the creator. God the, the musician. God the, the, the um, steward of the world that we've been charged of, right? And stewardship, get that in there, right? Uh, there's all these connections. And then, of course, the connection we have with each other as we worship with one another, that we're not in this alone. Hear that, Living Waters. Even 2020 may feel isolating. I know, I know. I'm an extrovert. I miss you, right? But we're still in this together. God is still keeping us together, a threefold cord, right? We are, are connected. So hang in there. And let us worship together.